Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another project in Java, JSPN Servlet. So this time it's NGO management system. So uh, let's talk about the technology, what technology we are using to build this project. So it's using to manage the front end, it's using JSP Java server page and to manage the back end or server side, it's using Servlet to manage the database or data source, it's using MySQL so here we have mysql database called ng management so under this ng management we have some tables so application tables one two three four five six seven tables are there so user table to manage all the users so all the user data will be recorded here and the role to define the role what kind of role into the application so we have three role in the to the system but basically the administration and the volunteers and donation so it will be the donor okay so foundries like the or to manage the organization or the founders that we are going to or the organization that we are that come under this ngo okay so donor thing so manage the donors and donor money so if donor want to pay money he can pay he can do donate the things as well so we can check the detail here and the applications so let's run the project and understand how the functionality is working also we'll provide the description uh, link in the description to have the source code so you can we'll click on the link you can contact on the below details so we'll provide this complete source code in the configuration of it support if you need so it's using jsp servlet and deployed over the tomcat server so let's run the project and then we'll talk about the functionality and so as i run you can see the home page is display here so over the home page we have a header um, with body style body and the footer here so another home page it will come load the same page if i click on the over team so it will display the team member that work under this organization so this is the simple static page here uh, over the campion you will display some campions in the slider so this is just for the designing purpose and so when i click on the login button it will redirect me over the login page so i can log in as an admin or volunteer as as i told uh, like we have three roles in the application so we have three types of user admin volunteer and donor we'll check one by one uh, also we have sign up options so if you want to login or uh, like if you want to uh, if i'm a donor enough want to register into the system i can directly register here so let's log in at the very first and then move to functionalities so let's log in as a user uh, admin so for the admin we have divided some role id here so one will be always for the admin and two will be for the organization and three will be the donor so i'm gonna use this login id as an admin and so i'm gonna use this and the password is hurry at the rate one two three and if i click on the sign in button it will redirect me over the login page should but it seems there is some issue Okay, I have to check the configuration first. So let me check my database username is root. Also root. Okay, it's deployed over the live server, so I have to change some configuration in through the database. It will then it will work fine. Update the URL as a local host and enter my real database password, it is username and password. Now it will work so let's rerun it again and i just rerun the source code i'm going to enter the admin credential for the admin so it's login okay now it's logged in 
so under the, uh, under the admin we have some user options so user module so under the user module an uh, admin can add a new user into the system and admin can check the user list as well also admin can perform the search operation from here search by first name login id and also admin can edit a record of the other users if admin want delete admin can delete this option so all the crude operations are there so application list so as a donor or as an organization or if you are if you are a volunteer and if you want to apply as an application so it will come to the uh, uh, this uh, admin and admin will check over like what kind of uh, applications are available in the in the system so these are the transaction lists so if some donor want to donate and so admin can check all the transaction list here on this it means have organization so if you want to add some organi uh, organization or you can say some uh, some fundraisers so if you want to like it fundraiser is kind of module where you can perform any event so as an organization you are going to perform an event on that event you will raise a fund so for example I say demo event fundraiser so I can select the date so and let's say it's fifth let's say so I can check the list here also it have the, the search functionalities and this button is right now disabled it will reach once it will reach the minimum record minimum 10 or 12 record then it will enable now i'm going to log out as an admin and let's log in as an other user and check so i'm going to log in as a volunteer now so if i'm going to a volunteer and I can use like this so a volunteer can add a new application so uh, a volunteer can add application for the new user or apply to be volunteer and view as an application fundraiser he can check the list of fundraisers he can check the receipt list and the feedback list okay this feedback list will come uh, from the like uh, if user going to request or um, some um, as a user as a donor if you are going to perform the feedback it will display here so it have volunteer have a two option here to accept so if you want you can accept or reject the request accordingly now let's log in as an third user which is the donor and so as a donor you can perform some operation like you can donate money you can donate the things so if you want to donate money you can check your name is there your email id you just need to enter email id account detail and save it and also here we have that feedback form so if you user and going to enter some feedback there you can enter the feedback right. So these are the different different functionality. Also for three for uh, all three roles we have option to my profile and to change password or log out. So these are the best it will display there. So uh, if you need the source code and uh, you can contact me in the below details and. Uh, uh, also we have that remote support so we'll provide the complete configuration at your machine so if you're gonna need this project or if you buy this project from code one will provide the complete remote support so we'll connect uh, with you by zoom or any desk and we'll run that project at your machine also if you need some other project you can check uh, you can navigate to the code one.com and go to the project in java if you need some java projects we have a lot of java projects are there also all the demos are available so you can move to the next page and next page and you can uh, explore the other projects as well also if you need a project in hibernate and spring and php and other technologies you can contact us and you can share our requirement if you have any custom requirement it's not available over the code one you can share the requirement with us we'll convert it over the project and share it with you as we have a remote support so it will be easy to help you to explain the things and configure it at your machine so thank you so much for watching and uh, if you need please contact me thank you